Hilfiker Company is a successful family-run business, the oldest and most diversified retaining wall company in the marketplace today. We are dedicated to superior quality products and unrivaled service and have met the needs of owners, contractors, and civil engineers for 100 years. At every stage of a project, our good-natured team of professionals always stays closely involved with you, the customer. The people at Hilfiker Company have become known throughout the industry for their absolute commitment to innovation and customer service. Ease of installation, well-designed systems, constructability, superior products. These are all critical elements that make up a good retaining wall company. Let's take a look at how these elements fit into the construction of our cost-effective and flexible welded wire wall systems. The following will be a step-by-step -step guide designed to help contractors, engineers, and others in using these systems. Our welded wire wall system has been designed for simplicity with you, the contractor or engineer, in mind. This wire wall is all one unit, making it simple and fast to use. And remember, a qualified representative is happy to answer your toll-free call anytime. The welded wire mats reinforce the soil, horizontally providing the tensile strength to make the compacted soil into a stable structure. The reinforcement mats allow the use of a wide range of soils for backfill because of the welded wire mat's superior pull-out resistance. Wall backfill in a mechanically stabilized earth structure, an MSE, should preferably be a free-draining select granular material with a high frictional strength. However, the system can be designed to utilize native on-site material. Use of this material would require careful construction control to achieve a high degree of compaction as well as positive drainage and encapsulation of the backfill to ensure the proper moisture content. If rain is expected, protect the backfill from getting saturated. Under no circumstances should the use of backfill exceeding the optimum moisture content be utilized as backfill in an MSE structure. If your backfill material does get saturated, remove the wet portion and replace it with non-saturated material. Compaction of the backfill is also very important to keep the wall from settling. Compaction is critical for walls supporting paved roadways, railroads, buildings, mining equipment, and other significant loads. Always follow project specifications. If adequate compaction isn't reached, settlement can occur. In addition, the moisture content of the backfill prior to and during construction shall be uniformly distributed throughout each lift. Properly installed, the welded wire retaining wall is an exceptionally strong, resilient, and economical structure. Welded wire walls can be designed as battered vertical or cantilever structures. Should you have any questions on design, construction, or suitability of application, please contact Hilfiker Retaining Walls. We will be pleased to custom design a retaining wall to suit your project-specific criteria. You will need the following tools to build your wall. 24-inch bolt cutter, tin snips, string line or automated alignment control equipment, lightweight compactor for front face, ends, and corners, 24-inch level, shovel, 6-foot bar. When you unload the mats at the job site, hook the chains as shown. Ensure that the front bent-up portion of the mat doesn't get damaged. At this stage of construction, a little extra time and attention can save a lot of time down the road. Each excavation is site variable. Excavate according to your plans and specifications. 
the foundation must be solid and able to support the weight of the wall. If unsuitable materials are encountered on site, they should be removed and replaced as directed by the on-site soils engineer. If foundation fill is required, place it as directed by the soils engineer. Make sure the wall foundation is to line and grade. Bench the ends of the wall into solid ground. Make sure the mat is on competent material. This prevents settling and erosion and ensures a proper foundation for the next step. The wall parts needed are standard mats, prongless mats, cap mats, backing mats, filter fabric or hardware cloth, hog rings and pliers. When our materials are delivered to your site, you will receive from us a construction guide and a wire gauge that shows a difference in wire sizes. The first lift is essential. It controls the rest of the wall. Take extra care to prepare the foundation grade and place the first lift accurately. Survey to string line for grade and alignment. Fine grade the outside three feet of the foundation. Be sure you have the required berm in front of the wall. See your project plans for the minimum width. If field conditions do not give you the minimum berm width, contact the project engineer. You may cut the mats to fit your excavation if needed. Cut transverse wires only. Do not shorten the base depth. Follow your plans carefully for the base depth and wire size of the mats. Each mat spans eight feet. Place the mats leaving an eight inch space at the faces. Backing mats are eight feet wide. They span from center to center of the reinforcement mat faces. Place the backing mat against the face of the soil reinforcement mat. Clip the second to top transverse wire on the backing mat to the top transverse wire on the soil reinforcement mat. Clip the edge of the soil reinforcement facing to the vertical wires on the backing mat to ensure a uniform eight inch space on the soil reinforcement mats. Cut a backing mat in half and use half at the beginning and ending of each lift. Unroll filter fabric or hardware cloth against the backing mats. Keep it as tight as possible. Clip with hog rings about 18 inches apart. To form a concave curve, spread the back of the mats. For a convex curve, overlap the back of the mats. For a smoother curve, you can split the mat bases and bend the face. To form angles, cut the transverse wires in the mat base and bend the mat face. Backing mat and hardware cloth must be continuous or overlap at the angle. Place and compact the backfill in layers and densities as specified in the project plans. This way, is wrong. Future bulging will be caused by underfilling or undercompaction. This way is right. Be sure to control alignment on every lift. A level is used in a radius. Use a string line on straight runs. Anchor the string on one end. Set the string to the desired offset. Move to the other end and do the same. Compact up to the face. Stop when the face rotates to the correct batter. If a void is left here, you will fill it in at the next lift. Begin the next lift of reinforcement mats. 
make the space between the mats line up with the spaces in the previous lift. Install the next level of backing mats. Hook the bottom transverse wire of the backing mat over the vertical prongs on the lower mat. Rotate the backing mat to vertical and clip the second to top transverse wire on the backing mat to the top wire on the soil reinforcement mat. Install filter fabric or hardware cloth as shown earlier. A string line or automated alignment equipment should be used on straight runs to ensure vertical and horizontal alignment. Begin the backfilling process again. Do not operate heavy equipment on bare wire. Place the fill so it falls through the base wires and fills the void, if any, in the lift below. Use fill that will pass through the mesh. Use a hand tamper to compact the fill in the face of the lift below. Keep a 2 inch to 3 inch cushion of fill under the tamper to protect the wire. Complete the backfill as shown in steps earlier. Place the fill for the toe berry when you are at or above the third lift. It is very important to compact carefully. Continue the same process to the top lifts of the wall. The ends of the top lifts need corner backing mats to confine the backfill and prevent future erosion. Bend an 8-foot backing mat 90 degrees for corner mat. Apply filter fabric or hardware cloth and clip with hog rings. If your wall steps at the top, use a corner backing mat at the end of each step. Complete the final lift using a prongless mat. Backfill to the top of the top lift. Before you put the cap on, compact and align the prongless mat. This is extremely important because this is the final mat layer and will be the top of the wall. Tilt the cap and catch the front hook under the middle wire on the prongless mat. Lay the cap onto the fill. Check alignment and begin placing final lift backfill. Fill the void, if any, behind the face of the prongless mat and compact. Backfill to the top of the final grade per project specifications. Some projects call for a rock facing. In these applications, the hardware cloth is eliminated and rock that will not pass through the openings in the backing mat is placed at the wall face. This design is used for aesthetic reasons or in applications where the wall may be submerged in water. In these applications, filter fabric is used directly behind the rock to encapsulate the backfill and to keep any fines from migrating into the rock zone. Some walls require a sloped cap to maintain a minimum shoulder width at the top of the wall. In these situations, the backfill is placed and compacted to the elevation and grade of the cap mat or top of wall. The prongless mats and backing mats are marked and then removed per project plans. The cap mats are then installed as shown earlier. If the plans call for guardrail posts near the face of the wall, it may be required to cut holes in the top mats. To do this, mark the mat at the proper spacing along the wall. Then check and mark the offset of the wall facing and cut the mat as shown in the plans. If a culvert or large pipe passes through the face of the wall, the mats are cut to fit around it. At the lower surface of the culvert, cut the transverse wires at the mat face, then bend the longitudinal wires back to fit the culvert. 
cut the backing mat and hardware cloth to fit the culvert. At the upper surface of the culvert, the transverse wires in the base of the mats are cut and bent as shown. Do not cut off the longitudinal wires. Fit and cut the backing mats and hardware cloth. Cut transverse wires only. Lift and bend longitudinal wires to fit against the culvert. There may be a large gap at the top of the culvert. Cut down a standard mat and bend it as shown to fit against the culvert at the top. Cut backing mat and hardware cloth to fit. Thanks for watching the construction guide video with us. Remember, the Hilfiker welded wire wall system is simple and fast to use. But if at any time you have a question, we have qualified representatives ready for you on our toll-free line.